going on the board with a power play goal. I know it's a power play goal and two penalties in a row, but it, it kind of looks to me like North Dakota came on a little bit flat this period. Maybe got a little complacent coming off the two-goal lead. They need to get back at it. Here's a two-on-one lever. Score! Oh, something like that. He must have learned that from his sisters. <laughs> oh, Eric said that, Mario. I didn't. <laughs> Come on. Every he's, time, he's every, that every time the sisters do something well, it's always oh, they must have got that from their brothers. You know, let's give the sisters some credit, huh? <laughs> no, it was a nice play. Mario looks off, looks off on the pass, oh. makes Jelly move just to his right a little bit, goes high over the glove and beats him. <laughs> Brunato couldn't hang on as Aikens gets it to center. The point just sends it right back. Here's Lamaru to the back end and a goal! Nice quick shot. Jelly wasn't expecting, Jelly was not expecting that shot one bit. And he's walking out, basically right in stride. Takes a quick little backhand, beats him short side right over the pad. It looks like Jelly expected him to take another stride or two even before he shot that. But great shot, great quick shot by Lamaru. Nice little effort to get it out of the corner, get to the front of the net, and finish the playoff. That's the end of the game, and that caps a North Dakota sweep. The final tonight, 5-1. To and Minnesota Duluth sees its record dip to 18-13-1, 14-9-1 in the WCHA. And if Wisconsin holds on to win, the Badgers will move ahead of the Bulldogs and be alone in third place. And Duluth will drop down to fourth. Time now for our player of the game sponsored by PS Doors of Grand Forks. Let's go with Mario Lamaru back in the lineup scoring his fourth and fifth goals of the season. Welcome back Mario Lamaru. Just a solid effort all around by him tonight. Came back off of what was we'll say a questionable suspension but He's one of those guys, that he just, he's going to work hard, game in, game out, day in, day out, and it's, it's good to see he was rewarded tonight for that. And since the Sioux have swept it home, they will salute their fans here as they head off to Colorado Springs next week. Good way to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the national championship team of 2000. North Dakota with a 5-2 win last night and a 5-1 win tonight. Shots on goal. 8 for Duluth. 23 for the game. And 6 for North Dakota. 28 for the game. Speaking of Jay Genway. We saw him there in the hall. In the lower right corner of your screen. He looks good. Just needs a haircut though. <laughs> Let's talk to the head coach of the University of North Dakota, Dave Haxtall. Dave, uh, congratulations on the sweep. Dave, how about Mario Lamaru? Uh, there's been enough written and said about uh, the incident last week, but uh, to come back after a one-game suspension and pop in a couple of goals to help seal this one, boy, oh, boy, what a, what a night for him. Well, uh, I'll just say this. You know, he, uh, he, he scored maybe the biggest goal, certainly the biggest goal of the game tonight, the third goal. Uh, it was nice to get the insurance marker. Um, and, you know, when you, you think of this game in terms of our season and how important it was for us, maybe that's the biggest goal of our year. So, you know, I heard it, I heard it said last week uh, after uh, Marvin and Lamru were, uh, were out for 14 minutes, I, I heard it said uh, uh, that St. Cloud lost a much better player. And I didn't like that then. 
and uh, I sure like what Mario did tonight and showed how important and how good of a player he is to us. There's a lot of things that he does that go unnoticed. He doesn't have to score goals for us to be uh, to be a valuable player, but you know what? Uh, maybe a little poetic justice for him tonight. He scored a couple huge goals for us, and uh, happy for him and proud of him.